Xiaomi 11T, Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Can Xiaomi's latest mid-range phone with a 108 megapixel sensor really compete with arguably the best 108 megapixel sensor and all-around camera system on the market today? Let's find out. How's it going here and welcome to my camera comparison between the Xiaomi 11T and Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Now first off, thanks to Xiaomi for sending over the 11T for me to check out, review, and share with all of you. And while the 11T probably won't compete with the S21 Ultra as far as zoom performance because it doesn't have a telephoto lens or a periscope zoom lens, the 11T does have a 108 megapixel main sensor similar to the S21 Ultra. It does not have optical image stabilization like the S21 Ultra, but as you do know, it does not always just come down to the hardware as far as camera performance in smartphones. A lot of it has to do with a software image processing, which Xiaomi has been improving over the years. And so like I always do, I'm going to take a bunch of photos and videos in both good and low light conditions so you can see for yourself how these phones and their cameras are performing and which one might be best for you. So if you like content like this, if you like camera comparisons and want to see more, please consider subscribing. And with that all the way, let's go ahead and check out all the photos and videos.
Alright, so here's some video from the rear facing cameras on the Xiaomi 11T and Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. This is at 4K 30 frames per second on the main rear cameras here. So the Xiaomi 11T won't allow me to shoot 4K video on the ultra wide angle camera, which is why I'm keeping it here on the main lenses. Of course, the Galaxy S21 Ultra will let me do 4K in the ultra wide. As you can see here, I'll switch out to the ultra wide on the S1 Ultra and back into the main. So again, max 1080p recording on the ultra wide angle camera on the 11T, but this is 4K from the main sensors here on both phones. So again, I'm just panning around to give you a sense for what that looks like here on each of these main cameras at 4K. You can see how the exposure adjusts for that afternoon light and with that sky there right now. And if I start moving away, you can see how the exposure readjusts there, especially on the 11T as we come back up. And we'll pan over here to the right. And we'll test out zoom here on that cell tower. So let's go to a three times digital zoom here on the Xiaomi 11T. And we go to a three times optical on the S21 Ultra. And I can move into a max, I believe six times digital here at 4K on the Xiaomi 11T. And I'll go into a 10 times optical here on the S21 Ultra. And go all the way to a max 20 times digital on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So let's go ahead and back both of those out from their max zoom there on the S21 Ultra and now on the 11T. Let's test autofocus here on the post, first with the Xiaomi 11T. That's some really snappy autofocus and refocus away. So autofocus is looking really quick here on 11T. And you also have a really nice shallow depth of field or blurred out background or bokeh there with that large sensor on 11T. So let's go ahead and try the S1 Ultra. And you have some pretty quick autofocus there and refocus away. Not quite as quick, I think, as the Xiaomi. And also some pretty good shallow depth of field as well with that large sensor. So let's go ahead and test stabilization as I walk down the stairs. So we can see what that looks like here in 4K with a good bit of movement here. So let me know how the stabilization is comparing to you as I walk through the walkway here. And I'll pull up and we'll pan up into this afternoon's trees and sunlight there so you can see how the exposure handles for that changing light. So here's some video from the front facing cameras on the Xiaomi 11T and Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. This is at 1080p 30 frames per second, which is the max resolution and frame rate from this front facing camera on the Xiaomi 11T. The S21 Ultra can of course shoot up to 4K 60 frames per second from its front facing camera, but I want to keep everything the same as far as resolution and frame rate here. Now I'm starting out in my usual testing spot here in outdoors in some fairly even light conditions to give both of these front facing cameras every opportunity to give you the best possible footage without any kind of harsh lighting. So if I go ahead and step forward a little bit more, you can kind of see some of the lighting coming in. And I'll go ahead and pan around so you can kind of see how the picture and exposure adjusts for the changing light conditions. So you can see right there and more into that backlight there, you can see it gets a little bit blown out, which pretty much any phone camera is gonna do. Although the S1 Ultra is trying to keep everything a little bit more balanced as far as exposure. Uh, a little bit better than the Mi 11T as far as what I can see here. And so let's go ahead and start walking to test stabilization as well to give you a feel for what that looks like here from each of these front facing cameras. So I just want to give you a quick test and a bit of a view here into the front facing camera quality on the Xiaomi 11T and Galaxy S21 Ultra.
Hi friends, so here's some low light video from the Xiaomi 11T and Galaxy S21 Ultra. This is the main lens on each at 4K 30 frames per second. So I'll just pan around to give you a feel for what this looks like. And the Xiaomi 11T, like I mentioned before, does not film in 4K with the ultra wide angle lens. You can only shoot up to 1080p, so I'm not showing that here right now. I'm just shooting these in 4K. And again, I'll just keep panning around so you can see what these look like here compared to one another. And they're both brightening up the scene a little bit more than what I'm seeing with my own eyes. I think the S21 Ultra is doing that a little bit more. You can tell with those trees there above the rooftop, it's not that defined and that visible to the naked eye, but you can clearly see them against the contrasting of the sky because these uh, phones are kind of lighting everything up a little bit more. You can see how they both do into that bright street light. The S1 Ultra is flaring that out a bit more than the 11T is here. So let's go ahead and pan over this way and start walking to test stabilization at 4K and low light. Generally, you'll get a little more jitters the darker it gets, so pay attention to that. And also, we'll test out how each of these phones handle a little bit of a darker area here. So obviously, that was a lot of light. And you can already see as we're moving this way, it's getting a lot darker. And at least with the viewfinder, the S1 Ultra is really brightening up everything a lot more than the 11T is at the expense of a lot more noise. Looks a lot more kind of purplish, grayish, when it should be really pretty much dark here. And I'll pull up and pan up into the night sky so you can kind of see what that looks like. You can see there the S1 Ultra definitely introducing more noise, at least in the viewfinder here. It, there is some light pollution, but not that much as what I'm seeing with the S1 Ultra. And when we pan this way, a little bit of a mixed lighting situation where it's a dark alleyway with some accent lights. And again here, the S1 Ultra from what I'm seeing is much brighter, much noisier here, but that could all change once these videos process and post. So let me know what you think about this little light video here in 4K from both phones. So here's some low light video from the front facing cameras on the Xiaomi 11T and the S21 Ultra. Obviously I'm in a pretty good lighting situation here. I want to show you what these cameras can do with a good amount of light in a fairly low light situation. So these cameras have every opportunity to show you the best possible image quality here. As you can see here to the left and to the right of me and even in the back you can see all the bright lights around me. And this is being shot at 1080p 30 frames per second which is the max resolution and frame rate on the 11T. The S21 Ultra can of course shoot up to 4K 60 frames per second from its front facing camera. But again I'm just keeping this all even as far as resolution and frame rate is concerned. And so let's go ahead and start walking to test stabilization from these front facing cameras which should be doing pretty well I think on both. And we'll also be walking over to a much darker area so we can kind of test out how each of these cameras look in a bit of a lower lighting situation here. And I'm walking past a fountain to my right so we'll test out the microphones and how they do against the sound of that fountain and how well or not so well they do in cancelling out that noise against my voice here. As I pan around this way, we'll show you some really bright lights behind me. And you see there how these front facing cameras are doing. I think the S21 Ultra is probably flaring that out a tad bit more than the 11T is doing here. But let's kind of get back into this darker area so you can kind of see what this looks like here side by side in this darker area. And actually both are doing pretty good because right now in this area it's actually quite dark and from the viewfinder they're both doing a pretty good job of brightening everything up without introducing too much noise or artifacting here. And so do let me know what you think about all the photos and videos you saw from the Xiaomi 11T and the Galaxy S21 Ultra both with the main 108 megapixel sensor and these days hardware only gets you so far. A lot of it's differentiation in smartphone image quality is in its software processing which I think the S1 Ultra is doing a little bit better but do let me know what you think here. Uh, the 11T is going to be obviously much less expensive than the S1 Ultra so you would expect the Ultra to do a lot better here but I think the 11T is doing very well for what it is and its price point here and I thought it held up decently well considering 
the price differences here. So let me know what you think about the 11T versus S1 Ultra. Which one did you prefer? And any other observations you want to share in the comments, we'll continue our conversation on there. As always, thanks for watching.